Hi all, let's have a look at another very interesting game from the World Rapid Championship of 2017. Magnus Carlsen was white, playing against Wang Yi. So this started off with e4 for Magnus. Wang Yi played e5. We have the bishops opening, so not putting pressure on e5 with knight f3, which is the most common move, but bishop c4. Knight f6, hitting white, e pawn d3, c6, preparing for d5, knight f3, d5 is played, the bishop drops back, queen c7, quite often bishop d6 is played, for example, like this, d takes knight g5, this is thought to be a small edge for white, this position here, so this is slightly unusual, queen c7, knight c3, putting pressure on d5, d takes, so you see this bishop's actually quite good now in the position. Knight takes, getting rid of an important defender potentially when black castles here, because black plays knight takes e4, d takes, bishop e7, and now it seems not a routine move. Can you guess what Magnus plays here? If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay, not castling. But knight g5, ready to pounce. If black castles, then there's queen h5 with a big advantage, hitting f7 and h7. So, for example, this is terrible for black. Bishop b4 check, there's just c3 here, and white's got a big advantage. We're winning the exchange there. So, black can't really castle, so he gives up. The dark square bishop instead, so white's doing very well, nicely out of this opening. Knight a6, bishop e3, stopping knight c5. Black castles. Queen d2. Queen e7, as though knight c5 might be handy, but that's ruled out. Queen c3, putting pressure on c5 here. Rook e8. White castles, queen side. Knight c7. Rook d3, preparing simply to double the rooks. Queen f6, f3, might have such a pleasant position here from the opening. Knight e6, rook d6, pinning that knight. Also look at this miserable bishop on c8. g6, white simply doubles rooks here. Queen g7, queen d2. So creating a battery here for bishop h6 as well. h5, g3, knight c7. And now bishop h6 is used, pushing the queen to an awkward square. Now rook d8 with a menacing idea. This back row is, is vulnerable. Bishop h3 is played. Rook takes a8. Now black has to be very careful because if rook takes a8, can you guess what white could play here? If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay, queen d8 check would be winning. For example, like this is mating. Black has to be extremely careful. So takes with the knight. Bishop g5. There are other strong moves in this position. This is very, very good. Knight c7. And now queen a5, hitting a7 and e5, potentially. But uh, also the knight, of course. So under a lot of pressure here. And this queen just seems so awkward on h7. Knight e6. Hitting that bishop. That knight is snapped off though. Bishop takes e6. It's pretty miserable this position. If f takes, queen takes e5 is very nice. For example, like this, white has a big edge here. But uh, black plays bishop takes e6. And now rook d8, just going for the king here. Game en ended now. The king is actually in mortal danger. Give an example. Rook takes, queen takes check, bishop f6 check, queen d2 check. This is a mating sequence, an example mating sequence, showing how bad the king's safety is now for black off this rook d8. So yeah, pretty short, shocking game there in the World Rapid Championship of 2017. Magnus really playing in a you know quite an offbeat opening there as a surprise weapon. So another one of Magnus's treasure of kind of secret weapons he uses in in uh, rapid chess. 
So the bishop's opening here. Okay, I hope you got something from that. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.